you're looking at here is, is uh, we call it now Irby 1 because there's, there's, we hope there's an Irby 2. And, um, but this is the first car we built and the only one we built. And uh, it's a three-wheeler. It has uh, rear-wheel steering. Um, it has electric motors that power the front wheels. It has a gas engine in there uh, that we hope to run on biofuel, ethanol, uh, that, that can power the right front wheel on, on highway cruising. So it's electric under 40 mile an hour. It's uh, 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 just on the gas engine or on the internal combustion engine at 70 mile an hour. And so uh, what you see, everything in orange was 3D printed by Stratasys uh, in Minneapolis by Red Eye On, Red Eye on Demand. And uh, even the windows were vacuum formed over patterns that were 3D printed. And um, yeah, so this is, this is the, the, the car that we entered in XPRIZE and then we kind of finished it. We, we have a documentary that describes this car. And uh, we started a second car um, ab about February. We announced it uh, uh, with Stratasys in Minneapolis that we partnered with Stratasys. And uh, that got quite a bit of attention. And we, were, we called it Irby 2. And, uh, and Irby 2 we hope to build and in about two years from now drive it from New York to San Francisco. Uh, with two people and a dog and our goal is uh, 10 US gallons and uh, we hope we can achieve that goal because the car seems to be getting better and better it seems to be <laughs> getting more fuel efficient uh, the more people contact us and we get better electric motors better batteries uh, and and we hope to even improve the aerodynamics on the second one but as a designer it took me a, a long time to kind of get it but uh, but when I got it I think what what really made me flip uh, and 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 make the leap was this this idea that plants and animals grow up very close to how 3D printers make things. And if they're sustainable, then maybe we should follow this direction uh, if we want to be sustainable as well. I think the tr traditional car companies believe you can keep modifying the, the gas car into a sustainable car. And um, and I certainly don't believe that that can happen. I think it has to start from the ground up.